Turning to the weather now, Tropical Storm Hillary has made landfall in the southwestern part of the U.S. This was a scene up in Death Valley where you can see heavy flooding is already taking place. Let's get to meteorologist Leah Pizzetti now who has the latest on the tropical storm along with those air quality concerns back home. Yeah, Madison, and they go hand in hand. It's fascinating, but this is a big picture story here. Hillary down south impacting California right now is also impacting us and our air quality up to the north. I'll show you that in just a moment, but first let's focus on Hillary. So currently 45 mile per hour sustained winds that does keep us at tropical storm status, but that does look to weaken overnight, especially as Hillary moves on shore. We see those winds die down and we're going to see some of that moisture fizzle out, but we are seeing record rainfall in Southern California. So right now Hillary is a tropical storm over Los Angeles set to travel north into Nevada, weakening down to low pressure systems. So it's not going to be as strong heading into Nevada, but we really have seen record breaking rain in Southern California because of Hillary, multiple inches of rain in some spots in just one day, which is a a lot for Southern California, and it's a lot in the span of just one day. So here's a look at satellite and radar last couple of hours over Southern California. It's widespread and it is really hooking up into the Pacific Northwest. This is a big picture story here, and this is having an impact on us here in Washington. We can see the, the edge of that tropical moisture over in Eastern Washington, but what this is doing is this is dominating our flow. So this is pushing air from eastern Washington into western Washington. We call that offshore flow. That is what is keeping that air quality so bad because all of those fires burning to the east of us, that smoke just gets kicked into western Washington. That is what is prompting this air quality alert, those hazy skies that we saw all day today. This is going to end at noon tomorrow, though, because we are going to see some improvement. We will still hold on to hazy skies tomorrow tomorrow morning with temperatures dropping down into the mid 50s. So tomorrow morning actually going to be pretty similar to what we felt today. Temperature wise as well. We'll see temperatures in the mid 70s, upper 70s and even into the low 80s down around south and as we head to the east as well. But then we're going to see some improvement. Here's why. So here's that tropical moisture down to our southeast, but I'm keeping an eye on this low to our northwest as they push by each other. We'll see that tropical moisture actually looking to hopefully help out those fires in eastern Washington, but that load then drops down from the northwest. That is going to take over our flow. That will push some nice fresh air into western Washington and also bring some light rain chances into western Washington these next couple of days. It's not looking like anything major. We'll probably stay mostly dry, but a few sprinkles are possible Tuesday and even into Wednesday morning as well. That'll keep temperatures on the cool side. Then as that clears, temperatures will warm back up to the low 80s. We're back to sunshine by the end of the week.